Unit 1. Lifestyles. 1. Listen and discuss. What activities do you do every day? Twice a day. Check your lifestyle. Which of the people are you most like? Why? Arthur is really into fitness. He works out at the gym regularly. He runs frequently, and he plays tennis twice a week. From time to time, Arthur goes rock climbing. Arthur is really into fitness. He works out at the gym regularly. He runs frequently, and he plays tennis twice a week. From time to time, Arthur goes rock climbing. Rifa is a health food fanatic. She normally eats vegetarian meals. She hardly ever eats meat. She never drinks coffee, but she loves herbal tea. Sometimes she drinks six cups a day. John hates any type of physical exercise. He enjoys challenging puzzles like Sudoku. He spends most of his free time playing video games or solving puzzles in magazines. John hates any type of physical exercise. He enjoys challenging puzzles like Sudoku. He spends most of his free time playing video games or solving puzzles in magazines. John hates any type of physical exercise. He enjoys challenging puzzles like Sudoku. He spends most of his free time playing video games or solving puzzles in magazines. Josh is an internet addict. He seldom spends less than three hours a day on the computer. While he's chatting online, he often checks his cell phone for text messages. Josh is an internet addict. He seldom spends less than three hours a day on the computer. While he's chatting online, he often checks his cell phone for text messages. Josh is an internet addict. He seldom spends less than three hours a day on the computer. While he's chatting online, he often checks his cell phone for text messages. Josh is an internet addict. He seldom spends less than three hours a day on the computer. While he's chatting online, he often checks his cell phone for text messages. Nura loves shopping. When she walks into a department store or a mall, she always buys something. She spends a lot of money. But she says shopping makes her happy. Nura loves shopping. When she walks into a department store or a mall, she always buys something. She spends a lot of money. But she says shopping makes her happy. Nura loves shopping. When she walks into a department store or a mall, she always buys something. She spends a lot of money. But she says shopping makes her happy. Martin works very hard. He always takes work home from the office, and he rarely takes a vacation. He's really devoted to his job. Martin works very hard. He always takes work home from the office, and he rarely takes a vacation. He's really devoted to his job. Martin works very hard. He always takes work home from the office, and he rarely takes a vacation. He's really devoted to his job. Martin works very hard. He always takes work home from the office, and he rarely takes a vacation. 
He's really devoted to his job. Majid, how often do you go to the gym? Omar, I work out every day, except weekends. I'm a bit of an exercise freak. Majid, exercise turns me off. Omar, anyway, what are you doing now? Majid, I'm checking my email. Omar, how much time do you spend on the internet? Majid, a lot. I take my smartphone with me wherever I go. My friends say that my smartphone is really my best friend. You see, I can access the internet almost everywhere. Majid, how often do you go to the gym? Omar, I work out every day, except weekends. I'm a bit of an exercise freak. Majid, exercise turns me off. Omar, anyway, what are you doing now? Majid, I'm checking my email. Omar, how much time do you spend on the internet? Majid, a lot. I take my smartphone with me wherever I go. My friends say that my smartphone is really my best friend. You see, I can access the internet almost everywhere. Your ending. What do you think Omar answers? 1. I prefer to exercise my body, not my thumb. 2. I only use my computer to send and receive email. 3. I don't have a cell phone. I don't want people calling me all the time. 4. Your idea. Nine, reading. Before reading. Why do people you know use cell phones? How often do they use them? Cell phone obsession, negative or positive? Yakety, yakety, yak. All around, you hear ringtones of cell phones, and you see people who are talking on the phone in public or sending text messages. This use of cell phones may signal more than normal communication with friends and family. For some teenagers, this craze may be a sign of unhappiness and anxiety. Cell phones are definitely part of today's youth culture. 95% of U.S. teens have access to a smartphone, and soon over 60% of kids ages 8 to 12 will have them, too. Students in grades 7 through 12 spend an average of more than an hour a day talking on their cell phones. That's about the same amount of time that they devote to homework. The majority of cell phone usage is for text messages. American teenagers send and receive 67 text messages per day, on average, heavy users considerably more. They often become irritated when other people don't respond to their messages quickly. Heavy reliance on a cell phone can become a problem and an obsession. According to the Los Angeles Times, a survey of 575 high school students in the United States showed that two-thirds of the students who use their cell phones more than 90 times a day do so because they are unhappy or bored. 
They score higher on tests that measure depression and anxiety compared to students who use their phones less. However, when they were examined, the frequent users were not found to be clinically depressed, that is, they were not actually in a state of depression that was severe enough to require medical help. The researcher who conducted the study said, the young people may be unhappy because of a problem in their lives or anxious about their social status. They are trying to make themselves feel better by reaching out to others. Communicating via cell phone makes the addicts feel popular. For teenagers, cell phones are not just objects for communication. They are extensions of themselves. They are tools for keeping in touch. Many teenagers don't agree with the study from the United States, and they say that people who are anxious or depressed wouldn't be sending out messages or making calls. For them, a lot of cell phone use shows that a person is popular and has a lot of friends. What do you think?